All right, what we're going to do today is we're going to do, I'm going to set up an interior space. Now, the first thing you want to do, you've got your paper, nothing on it. The very first thing you do is a vanishing point. Now, most people go dead center, try to avoid dead center, either go up, down, right, or left. I'm a fan of a little to the right, a little off center. I'm going to go a little low, too. So there you go. There's your vanishing point. Step two, connect your vanishing point lightly to the corners. You're going to erase half that line. All four corners. Now, that's going off into space. Now, this is where everybody messes up. The parallel slide. What you want to do is establish the back of the room. And the way to do that is to put your ruler on the edge of the paper and slide it without moving it farther up than you think because if you do it too shallow your room will you won't have enough room for your stuff and then draw a that would be the floor roll from the side and stop at that mark nice and even see the back of the room starting to develop and these big long ones are tricky so do it kind of slow and even blow now, if you did it right, all you have to do is just connect those two, which it looks like it. I'm just going to use this side because it's shorter. Boop, boop. Perfect. You now have the back of your room. So I have a fairly deep room. I'm going to erase these lines in it so you can see it better, leaving the vanishing point so that you see back of the room, ceiling, right wall, left wall, floor. Now, what you want to do is start putting stuff in here. Think big and then work to small. Don't start with lamps because you're going to probably put a table to put a lamp on. So start with the basics. Let's do a window. Windows are the easiest. I'm going to do a window over here. Now, first thing I'm going to do is windows are parallel to everything, so I'm going to parallel slide in. I'm going to do a fairly large window. Vertical line. Doesn't touch the bottom or the top. Connect your line to the vanishing point. Everything goes to the vanishing point. I'm only going to draw it as long as I need it because... A lot of erasing tends to look messy. Parallel slide the other side, and you've got a perfect rectangle on your wall. Now you could turn that into a poster, a door, when you put steps going down, but I'm going to make mine a window. So I'm going to trim this window out, a little line around it, vanishing point. And yes, I'm working backwards, but once you get the hang of it, everything going to the vanishing point, you can kind of wing it a little bit. There you go. There's the window frame. Now you've got the window battens in the middle. Do two little guys like so. And then two little guys going to the vanishing point. Just think, if it's horizontal, it goes to the vanishing point. If it's vertical, it's parallel. Curtain. Curtain in that kind of ugly. But there's your window. Now the door. Other side, same rule, except it touches the floor. Vanishing point. My hand's blocking. Parallel slide. I don't do the other vanishing point because it's already done. All right. Now you want to take this to the next level and make this look like a 3D doorway. Watch this. Parallel slide from the bottom, right to the bottom edge of your door. Just do a little guy, about the thickness of your wall. Also, to the top corner, you're basically building a box backwards. Parallel slide to those. And there you go. Oh, I missed a line. Come off of that corner, and that's the top of the wall. You see how it looks like a doorway where you can walk through it into your hallway going down to your kitchen. But you got to have that hallway, so watch this. Off the vanishing point, kind of in the middle there. So there's your hallway. You kind of go in, down the hallway to the kitchen. I'll even put a picture on the wall back there. Vanishing point. Just everything goes to the vanishing point. There's your picture on the wall in the hallway with your family in it. Big mark for dad in back. There you go. Now, something on the floor, just like everything else. Parallel. I'm going to do a nice big old rug because I don't want to take too long to do a hardwood floor. 
So I'm going to do a nice parallel line on the bottom, gigantic rug. Where do I go? Vanishing point. Thank you. Vanishing point, parallel. Giant rug on the floor, a little extra over there. And you could do a design, you could do all kinds of stuff. Um, say I want to do a ceiling fan on the ceiling. Now these are a little tricky, so I'm going to go step by step here. The first thing you want to do for a ceiling fan is a box. Parallel slide down and draw a box. Pretty light, because you're going to erase the entire box. Ms. Corinth Rogers, vanishing you point. Find your time sheet as vanishing you come point. In, Ms. Rogers. And then parallel the bottom. Now, what this box is going to do, it's going to help me set up my fan blades. Because, as we all know, a fan spins in a circle. So basically, what you're going to do is a circle. But, what are you thinking? How do I draw a circle with a square? Here's the trick. First thing you want to do is find the center of this square. Now, I like to do it without using math, and I like to do it the easy way, which is connect the corners. Very lightly, those are going to be my fan blades. All right? There's the center. Notice that this is bigger than this. That's because it's in perspective. That's the key, because some people draw their fans and they look like boat propellers sticking off vertically. So, there's the center. Come down a little bit and draw a tiny little oval. All right? Vertical line, vertical line, curve, ellipses, just like the pill bottles. Big ellipse coming around the back. Vertical line, vertical line, another pill bottle, curve to match. Vertical line, vertical line, curve, that little base that attaches to the ceiling. See my fans starting to happen? And what's going to happen with those lines? You're right, fan blade. So I kind of freehand it, just use it as a guide and kind of parallel it on either side. And do that little sculpty thing at the end. And see how this is bigger because it's closer. And here we go, last one. A little chain hanging down because you have to have a full chain. And there you go. Erase your box and you are in it to win it. Instant, easy ceiling fan. Now, of course, you don't have to do average stuff. You could be very creative and do some funky stuff with your picture. Like, let's draw a giant hole in the floor. Pretend that's not there and watch this. Just draw a jaggedy shape and just the same rules of perspective apply. All right, I've got all my shapes, so I'm going to do little vertical lines off all of those. I like to be creative and do unnormal things like this. Parallel, parallel. Parallel, parallel, parallel. Now I have this giant hole in the floor. I can put water in it. I can put flames coming out. I put, I don't know, whatever. The Archangel Gabriel coming out of the ceiling to fight the devil. Whatever you want. Come up with something crazy. Normal is boring. Now, one last thing. Got this back wall. Nothing going on. You can put anything you want on it, but remember, the back wall is a rectangle, so it's going to keep your rectangle straight. So say I want to do a cabin. Oh, speaking of, I'm sorry. Let me move a second. Say I want to do a piece of furniture. Come over here. I'm going to do a couch. Vertical line, horizontal line. All right, and I'm going to draw the profile of that couch. So any shape you want to do, arm, leg part, there you go. All right. Connect, draw your shape just like yesterday, and then connect the corners to the vanishing point. Boom, 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 boom. And then on the other side to cut it out, parallel. So parallel to a curve is another curve. Boom. Now I'm freehanding it because couches are organic, and then that one's vertical, so this one will be vertical. All right, now I know what you're thinking. That looks like steps, and you are exactly right. So I need to make the arms of the couch like so. And in doing that, that loses these two lines. And I'll see this guy right here. So that guy will go in vertical. And then from here, boom. Now, that's not the prettiest couch. It looks like a Goodwill couch. But if you want to break it up into pieces, like most of them have three and four pillows on them. 
and just use your lines of perspective. A little feet on it. Okay, that's not that bad now. Anything you can think of, the more stuff, the better. Fill your room up with all that you can think of. Um, we're gonna help you as you come up with ideas with what kinds of things you can add. It's basically limited to your imagination. Whatever you can come up with, we can help you with to stick in your room. All right, good luck.